What's up everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to Ontario History Vlogs. In just a minute I'll be headed to the historic portion of Ontario on historic Euclid Avenue to show you another historic building well over a century old. Without further ado, let this vlog begin. You know, one thing that I really admire about Euclid Avenue is its beauty and history. Not that there's no other place that's just as nice in Ontario, but this is where it all started. 136 years of history, the main path of travel to this very day in historic downtown Ontario. In 1886, Charles Frankish took charge of completing the model colony after the Chafee brothers left for Australia. His idea was to make a prosperous town starting with Euclid Avenue. Where some of the earliest buildings you will find in Ontario are still standing today well over a century old. And the building I'm here to share with you is no exception. 114 years to be exact, built way back in 1904. Known as Yeast and Flour Pizza today, but throughout its history it was many different places. This building is actually known as Masonic Hall and served the Ontario Lodge 301 on the second story and on the first floor was May Company Furniture Store. It was also Ontario's first library, then Ontario Fire Department, later changing into Clients Furniture, then a barber shop, then Miller's Boots, Pacific State Savings and Loan Company, and other other businesses as well. Lots of history here and one of the few buildings still remaining in 2018 in its original form. And as I mentioned, it's now yeast and flour pizza. We're gonna go inside and check it out and find Mike. Let's go. So here I am with Mike, the manager, actually the owner of Yeast and Flour over here on Euclid Avenue. How's it going, Mike? Good, good. How are you? Thank, I'm good. Thank you very much. Um, so tell us a little bit about Yeast and Flour. Well, we started Yeast and Flour like back three years ago, like uh, 2016, uh, particularly in April 2nd, 2016. It's almost the third year right now. We decided to start our business over here in the downtown. Um, we kind of found it like um, a lovely, um, homey downtown, so we decided to start our business over here. Nice. So two years ago, you started this business, and it took a lot of work for you to get it to this point. Um, and and um, what could people expect if they'd never been here before? Um, as of our place, uh, it's kind of um, urban style, or we can call it a new generation of pizzerias, where you can build your own pizza and um, you stand on the line, make your pizza, and it gets ready within like uh, three or four minutes in uh, in our um, uh, fire oven, like brick oven, and also it kind of like um, uh, we. Uh, we stick also with the old style, like let's say we serve extra large pizzas, wings and other stuff. So we mix both together. Uh, 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 like um, new generation, they can enjoy their build your own. Um, um, people, they like the old style, still we serve old style pizzas as well. So everything you can see over here. Um, also, are people able to book events over here? Of course. Um, like maybe like twice a week or so we get events over here. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like open space, uh, good. Uh, Cap City over here, like um, up to 80 or so. Uh, people de book for events. Um, they can even come in groups to watch sports, birthdays, even uh, meetings, stuff like that. We get all those kind of events. So I mentioned that you were located on Euclid Avenue, but what is your exact address and business hours? So it's 231 North Euclid Avenue, Ontario, and it's exactly in the downtown, across the street from the town square. So there you have it, Mike over here at Yeast and Flower located on Euclid Avenue. Come check it out and say hi to Mike.
Well, everyone, that's going to conclude this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to live, learn, and explore. Until the next time, see ya.